Hi, so in this video, I wanted to show you or look at a few B Med Unit 1 Paper 2 questions. Um, the questions that I did, um, what I've been doing for the past two hours, um, are the June 2016 B Med Unit 1 questions. Now, here is the first question that requires us to, and it says that. Figure 1 shows the framework for a point P which moves so that its distance from the circumference of two circles are, are, as well as their center um, O1, O2 is always in the ratio 2 to 3. The radii of the circles are 20 and 15 respectively and it wants us to plot the locus of the point P as well as state the name of the locus. Alright, so I'm just going to move over to AutoCAD here and where I've completed this question here. So, the, oh, you'll do this now. Now, based on what is going on here, once you see the ratio here, you don't have to ask. It will be, if we're stating what this is, it will always be an hyperbola. So, that's the name right there. Um, the reason for this is because of the eccentricity and it not being equal to um, one basically, one to one. So once you have a scale um, or a ratio of more than one, then you know we're going to have an hyperbola. How do we take on a question like this one here? What I basically did, um, I read you what was given to me based on the measurements. And then I um, started the process of, um, so what I did, I drew a line in the middle here. And select the line here, zoom in this line here and then I divide this line into a number of equal parts the number of equal parts is equal to the sum of the ratio 3 plus 3 3 plus 2 all right 3 plus 2 and I divided this line here into that ratio with them being labeled um, this one being 1 this one being 2 3 and 4 all right, the next thing I did um, was um, to identify where um, P will be when it is on the horizontal plane or it is directly between the two um, circles and that ended up being the second point because the ratio is 1 to 2, so this one is 1, this one is 2. Here I didn't have the measurements, uh, measurement. I didn't put the labels, all right. Um, once I did that, what I did afterwards was basically I selected a random number um, and this is up to you um, but I choose 100 because it was easy for me to um, off the top of my head divide um, that into the ratio 2 to 3 so what I basically did um, so say I have 100 right and I'm dividing it between the ratio so for example um, the ratio um, 2 right 2 of 100 in terms of like the ratio would be um because it will be like 20 so 2 times um, 20 is 40 all right and once i got that number i add that number to the radius of this um small circle here so once i add the radius um to this small circle so that um 40 i add it to the radius of 15 and then i got like 55 what I did afterwards was simply create a circle with the center of this circle being the center and then I created the radius which was 55 and as you can see um, it basically created a arc down below and up top. For this side here um, when I use the other part, portion of the ratio which is 3, 3 um, out of the 100 in terms of like a ratio would be equal to 3 times 20, 20 that would be 60. And then I add the 60 to this large circle radius here. So I add 20 to the 60. 20 plus the 60 um, gave me about 7, 60, 70, 80. So what I did, I created another circle using this large circle over here as the center. And I created a circle whose radius is equal to 80. And as you can see, where the two lines intersect, Alright, and it, it's happening up top and down below, alright. 
now once i had that in place uh, i pretty much marked off those little arcs there and then um i turned my attention to another number so i, I then went ahead to divide another random number all right so for example i use like um 70 right and divide it between the ratios all right so for this one one over here you know um say two as a ratio of say 70 i got a number and then i divided it not divided but added to the radius of the small circle then i repeat the process um of what i did here so it's basically the process that i did here for all the other numbers so you could choose some random numbers i used 100 i think 70 and 40 you could choose any other number and you'll still get the same result all right now you don't need a lot of division points um especially if you're using autocad because the more points you have the smoother your curve is going to be all right so you don't need to worry about that once you have completed all the points you simply draw a spin line through um the points that have been traced all right and this would be um the first question here um and as i said before it is an hyperbola